Hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel honestly i have no idea what i'm doing today I do errands take you guys along with me just woke up right now it's about five in the morning let's get started down here in texas it's been cold for like a few days and it's freezing cold i'm like oh cancel all my plans i'm the type of girl that loves to cancel plans we're gonna be going to a little coffee shop i used to go to this coffee shop so much i just want to eat like a little breakfast maybe get a bagel I've been really craving that bagel and a coffee put them together literally amazing caramel macchiato with extra caramel juice if you are like an og subscriber you know i used to be obsessed with getting these i would get these literally all the time i was just randomly craving this today and i just know it's gonna hit it's gonna taste just so good this coffee tastes so good if anything it's like it reminds me of like a warm vanilla hug i got an everything bagel with cream cheese and the bagels from here are literally so good i'm gonna read this book atomic habits literally talked about it so much I just feel so like de-stressed. I'm gonna give you guys a little summary of the book that I just read because it is just so good. And it's such a valuable pieces of information. The book was basically saying if you put your to-do list and you fill it up with these random tasks, for instance, you want to become more productive. You brush your teeth in the morning, wash your face, meditate, and you keep on doing it until you create a habit. People think just because they're putting stuff on their to-do list that they are creating these healthy habits. And to an extent, like you are creating a healthy habit, don't get me wrong. But what the book is saying if you're not thinking oh what would i do if i was in this state right now what would i do if i was a more skinnier person what would i do if i had more money you have to start acting like the person that you want to become in order to make that reality shift and i feel like that stuck out to me so freaking much because it's like i have been trying and trying to better myself not only as like a youtuber but as a person in general i just want to really take care of my mental health because that is something that i don't struggle with um my mental health that much but a lot of people do and i just want you to know that if you are sick sitting here complaining about your mental health and you're not doing anything you're not changing it you're just feeling pity for yourself and you want others to feel pity for you i feel like you're just gonna fail and fail and fail and you're questioning yourself wondering like oh my gosh why do i have to go through this probably wondering why does god put me through this you're not even giving yourself the slightest chance to move forward in your life because once you take out the negativity once you take out that blockage the thing that's holding you back you can soar like you can literally go beyond your needs and i feel like that book is just saying like no matter what at the end of the day you have to believe that you are already becoming who you want to be that was my little rant anyways guys right now we're gonna go to target i know i go to target in every single one of my vlogs i've been experiencing bloating like crazy and i have the bloom super green but like honestly those are not doing it for me anymore they were working for the first few days but now they're like eh, probably gonna get like some de bloating like tea or herbal tea or something like that all right guys currently in target i'm gonna go look at the clothes section first just to see what they have I feel like this is the perfect like oversized sweatshirt these shirts are literally so cute they're like little graphic tees and i actually have this a barbie one that is the one that i bought in a few vlogs back actually i really like it the material's good this little purple turtleneck would be so cute if it wasn't like see-through through here i don't know i don't really like see-through shirts is it just me or does anybody else love going to like clothing aisles and stores knowing that you're probably not gonna buy anything but it's just fun to look around you are kidding me look at these hello kitty pants i feel like they're pajamas but they're a little bit too rough they also have these little barbie ones and i'm obsessed that is enough looking at the clothes i want to go and look at the home decor now when you have literally nothing to do 
slowly like manifesting and envisioning what my future apartment is gonna look like these plants are literally gorgeous like this big one right here oh my goodness when i was younger i used to be that girl that would want to decorate her whole apartment pink with pink appliances like a couch pink literally everything pink and now that i'm like kind of older i feel like i still want pink but not as much i'd much rather prefer pops of color rather than making everything one specific color i don't know why i'm talking about like my apartment like girl i don't even have one this is so cute it's giving me like vintage but it's 70 dollars i've been looking for these everywhere me getting hot puffs and wondering why my stomach always hurts the detox healthy cleansing formula berries ginger black pepper hopefully it does my stomach good got the Olipop drinks. I ended up getting two of them. This one is in the flavor classic root beer and this one is in the flavor strawberry vanilla. Basically it says here a new kind of soda. It has prebiotic and plant fiber. The root beer one is two grams of sugar. The strawberry one is three grams of sugar which is like literally crazy to even think of like when you're drinking soda I think of like unhealthy 40 grams of sugar. I'm gonna try out the root beer one because I love root beer so much. Wait, why do I kind of like it? I definitely feel the root beer, but I definitely also taste where it's like not so sugary, which I love. I hate sodas that are sugary, which is why I always get like a Diet Coke or something. And I know Diet Coke is so bad for you, but I just don't like all the sugars in the Coke. Like, I don't know. I just don't like to taste that. Seven out of 10. It would probably go better with like some ice in it. It's really good. And I will definitely purchase this again. We just got a little regular one because we're gonna share real quick. We got a red velvet cookie. Taking my brother right now to get a football. This energy drink is literally so good. The Alani Juicy Peach. It's been kind of like a productive-ish slash like hectic slash like. We're gonna have a little self-care moment and I'm gonna put on this purifying tea tree mud mask. I personally love this brand so freaking much. This is so good if you have sensitive skin or redness. Like it doesn't irritate your skin at all, but it somehow manages to like clear it up and makes it feel so soft and smooth afterward. This has tea tree oil, thermal muds, aloe vera, and organic witch hazel extract. got the face mask on and I actually feel like it's low-key a confidence boost why am I feeling myself right now so we're gonna leave this on for 10 minutes also guys this is your sign to go get yourself a little face mask get yourself a, your favorite treat buy yourself something literally anything that you want to do just make sure that you take care of yourself take some time out of your day to appreciate yourself and thank yourself for the little things this is already starting to dry slash like crack up my skin but i do just want to give you guys some life updates just have a little chit chat ramble with you guys hope that you all are well that you're in a good mental space physical space if you're not it's okay things are gonna get better i do want to tell you guys some exciting spontaneous news for the past few days i feel like i've been getting a message or something has been telling me to start an asmr channel i'm pretty sure you guys already know it's like the whispering the tingle people watch it for sensory reasons helping fall asleep that's mainly what it's used for i personally do watch asmr as i mentioned before and i love asmr when i'm with my boyfriend i'll be like hey really really do just love asmr i was thinking to myself why not start an asmr channel and then i told you guys give me your thoughts and i got like two comments that were like girl start one and i'm like say less all i needed was one person i'm officially starting my asmr channel and i am so nervous you guys because it's like starting a whole new channel i know me and my boyfriend do have a couple channel and guys we're gonna be active on there soon i promise we've just got a lot going on i just feel like i'm ready for more i love vlogging don't get me wrong i'm still gonna be vlogging daily vlogging and uploading as frequently as i am right now but i just truly feel asmr is definitely something that i can try out at the end of the day it's like why not and i just feel like i just feel like god's giving me that message 
just to be like, you need this. By the time you're watching this video, I don't know if I'm already gonna have an ASMR channel created. Definitely challenging, but I am dedicated and I'm disciplined. That is something that you guys ask me a lot. How are you able to be so consistent? And I'm not gonna talk about that in this vlog. I'm actually filming another vlog tomorrow where that topic is mainly discussed on like discipline, motivation. All I gotta say is like, you really have to be dedicated. Like you have to want it. Anyways, guys, so I have this whole Amazon cart. The toys for ASMR. It has a sunset lamp for ASMR. With that channel, I plan on posting two to three times a week. I don't know, guys. I feel like it's gonna be fun. I feel like it's gonna be like a why not. Also, guys, I do want to mention that it is not gonna be on this channel. When I start doing ASMR videos, it's gonna be on a whole nother separate channel. So if you don't like ASMR, you don't want to subscribe to that, do not feel obligated to just because like you're a supporter of mine. Like, honestly, don't. ASMR is not like people's cup of tea, you know? Like my boyfriend, he doesn't like ASMR. That's a little life update that I wanted to give to you guys. I just want to say thank you guys so much for just following me on all of my journey and like that we're able to grow together. Also guys, we hit 4.4k subscribers, which is so crazy to me. Like I'm thankful for this platform that I have and I'm always going to try my best to spread good news, to spread positivity. I hope that I can distract you from like the chaotic or whatever type of life that you may have. We all need an escape from like some sort of reality sometimes and I hope that I can be that like person to ease you off of your problem. I'm so excited. I'm going to order this ASAP. Other than that, life has been super, super good and I'm just really blessed to be in the position that I am. <laughs> my dinner right here we got pork chops a baked potato and two little corn the last time i ate today was probably that cookie i just wanted to end off the vlog here and say thank you guys so 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 much for watching this vlog this is your sign to stop thinking negative about yourself or your dreams because honestly you never truly know what can happen if you fail then you fail you can get back up and try again if you made it to the end of the video comment down below the sun and the cloud emoji please don't forget to take care of your mental health your physical health each and every single one of you are so so important thank you again for watching this video Bye, guys.